welcome back to my channel. If this is the very first time you are viewing one of my videos, welcome. And I hope that you guys find this informative, helpful, all that good stuff. Um, if you guys haven't already read, I'm sure you have because you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video. Well, unless you just like my videos, which uh, I appreciate it if you do. Um, but yeah, I will be uh, showing you guys my hot foil stamping machine um shout out to and i don't want to mess this up but i'm probably going to mess it up so i'm so sorry in advance if i do um pipe Pite, place soaps i hope that i said that right but shout out to you girl thank you i appreciate uh the suggestion i thought it was a great idea so i've recorded it um so we are going to be doing a quick look at how i stamp these bad boys these are our pre-ordered um boxes so i have the actual they're just truffle boxes that i pre-ordered from a company called go go pack and um they i, I want to say they sell them by um 100 at a box um, but I do buy them um, in large quantities because the more that you buy at this company the cheaper the price point per unit is so it makes it affordable for the customer and myself um, and then they have the little pink sleeves they have all different color sleeves and uh, this gives me a little extra room in my boxes for any piping or any fun stuff that I might put on top that makes it a little bit longer than you know a typical regular bar uh, of soap um, so that that's it I mean they come they come like this blank and then um, I press my logo on them so um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I do that stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoy and I hope you have a wonderful day thank you bye hey guys so here is my machine I wanted to kind of get give you guys an overview of the machine um, and then we'll actually do a press so here is my little foil machine this foil machine actually um, can perform small to medium jobs uh, because this is a mechanical machine and I'll show you exactly what I mean by mechanical um, I'm sorry manual <laughs> manual machine um, so this is not automated and um, so it can only press what you are able to press in a time in a certain time frame um, the I, I thought I'd show you how it looks right now before I kind of clean it up and then do a, a clean press for you and everything. Um, I also wanted to explain to you guys that this is an actual accessory for the machine. So the machine is a little bit narrower than um, it shows visually here because I have an actual press plate on here and this just allows me a little bit more workspace in order to lay out paper or um, whatever it is boxes that I'm working on pressing and have that space to lay it on otherwise you really only have about this much space and I'll also say that um, the space that um, that it has is perfect for the boxes that I currently press but I decided to get this plate because I can actually press my boxes and you know if I'm doing cards or something like that I have a little bit more workspace um, so it's it's for future projects as well um, so this is where I catch all of my previously used foil as you can see it shows some previously stamped logos um, and then it just kind of sits in the tray and you just wind it manually um, this area here is where the brand new foil is and I'll show you what the roll looks like closer up and it just kind of sits back there and it winds I don't know if you can see you wind it through this part here under here and then it goes around and then you just kind of simply take a piece of tape and tape your foil to this 
little winder bar and then you'll just wind it as you you press um, this is the lever and this is the manual lever I was speaking of where you literally have to press it down you have to pull it in order to uh, create the stamp so there are a lot of things you're gonna have to learn with your machine if you decide you want to do something like this one is of course pressure every a uh, piece of paper, every box, it requires a different level of pressure. So you have to kind of learn your machine. Um, so you're going to mess up a few before you actually um, get to a place where you're comfortable and understand how to use it. But I love my machine and I'm able to personalize for customers. I'm able to create my logos on my boxes myself to make it a little bit more affordable for me. So I love it. Um, back to the machine itself, I'm going to show you a couple of a couple other things, and then I'll show you the additional accessories I purchased with it before we get to stamping. Um, this area right here is the temperature gauge, and it shows me when my temperature is where I want it to be. Now, for my box press, I always want it to get to about 400. It's currently off, so as you can see, it's at zero or it's at 100, but there's no there's no temperature right now um, and I want it to get up to 400 and so I will preheat this machine before I actually start stamping and this ensures that your um, and this 400 is for m my box and my machine um, and it will vary depending on what you're doing um, what you're using so you, like I said you have to learn that machine a little bit there's a little bit of a, a learning curve before you actually can get rolling because I messed, messed up quite a few box sleeves before I actually um, was successful with stamping um, another thing is over here on the side this is the doll doll dial that you use in order to um, adjust your temperature and currently it's off of course and it's very it's a little difficult to see because I have a little small workspace but this is what I would use and I actually move it up to four and it'll bring me up to 400 degrees and then here is where my actual I'm using one hand guys so sorry um Move this over. So this is what my plate looks like before it presses. It's just um, a um, a metal plate, and it slides inside of this little um, holder. Press. I don't know what you call it. Stamp holder. And so I just slide it in that little groove area there. And it will warm up the plate once it's on it will warm up the plate and when the plate is completely ready and the temperature is at the temperature I want it to I'm able to press as many boxes as I as I need um, so accessories these are the accessories that I purchased to go with it first off of course is um, a series of smaller upper case letters symbols numbers and then of course some spacers and um, these are great for creating your um, individual personalized messages for your products for your customers when you want to personalize something if they're ordering a personalized whatever and this is the plate that it goes into so these letters will slide and it's not going to be it's probably going to fall because there's no spacers or anything kind of keeping it in place but you would just lay that in there like so and then you would spell out your letter of course going backwards because you know you're going to be flipping it so whatever you wanted to say and this one is a three line um um I don't remember the name of this <laughs> but it's I can make three lines with it and so if you wanted to say Merry Christmas to whomever or I love you whatever you just need uh, enough spacers in order to create the individual because otherwise they'll slide out you want to make it tight and you use the side here and just screw it in and it allows it to tighten um, 
So that is that accessory. I also purchased the pencil holder and pretty much this allows me the ability to just place the pencil here and it secures it and then I'm able to um, press pencils with special um, verbiage and I actually am planning on some um, customized pencils so look out for that I don't know when that's coming out right now I'm just focused on soap <laughs> and then this is the uh, rolls of foil now this one's a little this one's been used of course but just to kind of give you an idea um, this is uh, the rose gold foil that I use in order to do hot press now you cannot use there's there's several kinds of foils there are some heat transfer foils but those are made uh, designed for laminating machines and they're called toner foil and then this is a hot press foil so you have to make sure that you do get the correct kind of foil or your foil will not perform for you so those are my accessories let's get to pressing okay guys so we have allowed our um, our hot foil press machine to heat up to a temperature that is suitable for the um, process excuse me guys I'm really trying to make sure that I'm not in the actual like my body's not all in the video so it's gonna be a little awkward um, working with the machine but right now sorry my hair is in your way because I am checking to see because I don't want to waste my foil so I'm checking to see that there is none of the previous area or space um, underneath the actual stamp um, so that I don't get some of the box stamped and then some of it not because there's no foil left from the previous stamp. And I'm actually going to do a test on a box that I jacked up. <laughs> So I'm going to work, and I actually, personally, there's two different sides. Oh no, okay, there we go. So there's two different sides of the, um, the sleeves. There's one side and it has a completely flat surface. And then there's one side and it has like where they actually, um, there we go, you can see it, um, where there's a little lip and um, where they, they adhered, I guess, the other side of the box or whatever to bring it around. Um, I know you guys love my descriptions. That's why I don't talk much on my videos. <laughs> um, I personally like to use this side because um, I don't know if it may be the way that it's laying or maybe this texture or something, but it, I always get a wonky press whenever I use the all flat side. So personally, I like to use this side and I'm also going to make sure that the little tiny piece is up top because of where my position, where my stamp is positioned, I'll get half of it, and I'll give you an example of what that looks like. I'll get it half pressed onto the lip part, and then half of it will be pressed onto the solid part. So this is the area that I want it to be stamped on and I don't want it to be stamped on this part so half of it is stamped on this part and the other half is stamped on this part and that's only because of where it was positioned when it went under the machine so we're going to make sure in our test that this little tiny tab part is underneath I have guides on my plate that keep that ensure that my box is exactly where it needs to be. So there's a guide here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually a guide right here, and this will stop my box from going any further up. And then there's a guide right here, which you guys will not be able to see, and that will ensure that my box doesn't go too far over. So I'm going to use that guide I'm going to bring it till it's my box completely stops. Move my finger. You guys have to be really careful because it's very, very hot. I mean, you guys, it's like three to 400 degrees. So it's very, very hot. And I'm going to pull my lever and I'm going to press it for about two to three seconds. So for this specific box, I don't want to press it too, too long, but long enough that I get a good adhe adhesion. So I'm going to press 
firmly. One, two, three. I'm going to pull it up. And then I'm going to kind of pull my wheel and I'm going to pull my um, box to kind of give a, a snatch almost. And that will kind of tear the foiling off of the, like that. I don't know if you heard it. And so I can see I got a nice adhe adhesion. So I'm ready to stamp. My machine is ready to stamp. And then I'll just take a piece of paper towel and just kind of rub it across and it'll get rid of any of the loose foil that happened to accumulate. But now that I know that it's ready, I'm gonna take a brand new girl, making sure that I use the side with the lip, making sure that the lip part is up on the upper portion. I'm going to ensure that my foil is completely clean but not rolled up so much that I waste my product. I'm going to push my box sleeve under using my um, guides, holding this part to kind of secure my machine down so when I pull or you know pull the lever it doesn't go flying and I'm gonna pull my lever for two to three seconds one two three pull up I'm gonna hold my knob and my box at the same time and I'm gonna give it a good yank pull it out and there is my box and my box has a little bit of residue. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's kind of acting. See if I can get you in focus. Well, it doesn't want to get me in focus, but um, there you go. So as you can see, there's a little bit of um, um, extra foil. It's like silver there. So I'm just going to use this and kind of rub off the excess. And now my box is nice and pretty and clean. And I usually just stamp everything and then I'll go back and clean it up. But And I'll show you guys one more time. Apologize one more time for all of my hair in your way. And I'm just going to make sure that I utilize. And this actually goes faster because I'm not, I have full control of my space. But, so I can press about, in 30 minutes I could press about, set, it's about mm, 150 boxes in 30 minutes or so. It doesn't take long. It's, it's actually, I can get, actually I can get a couple boxes. So that would be 200 in about 30 minutes. And one, two, three. Pull it off. And there it is. And of course I'll have to clean it up and it'll get rid of all those strays. And that is it. I hope that you guys uh, found this interesting, informative, all that good stuff. And give me a um, suggestion if you have an idea or questions on a future video. I'm going to get the rest of these boxes stamped, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.